we are seeing here a hydraulic machine. Hydraulic machine is a machine, is a device in which we apply a smaller force and in the return get a very large force from this machine. Like if we want to lift a car, that is 1000 kg car we want to lift and manually we cannot do that. So we need help of a machine on which we will apply a force of 10 kg and when we apply the force of 10 kg it should be able to lift the car of 1000 kg. That means our force must increase 100 times. How it can be done? It is done with the principle of Pascal's law and the hydraulic machine act on the principle of Pascal's law. Description there is a fluid continuous and there are two arrangements of cylinder and piston. One is this and one is this. Their radius are different. Compulsorily their radius are different and because of the radius their areas are different. Suppose this has got area A1 and this has got area A2 and it is obvious that area A2 is larger than area A1. Okay. So, A2 is larger than A1. Here. Yeah. Now, we apply certain force here. Here I want to clear two terms. You must be able to see them differently. Number one is the thrust or the force. And number two is pressure. There is a difference between them. Force we know is equal to pressure into area. Okay. So force and pressure are different because area is involved. If we bring it here, force divided by area what we get is pressure. Now, what presses a body? Is it a force or a pressure? Answer, it is force which press a body. Then what is pressure? Pressure is effect of that force on per unit area. But the total application, total application is that of force. Okay. <clears throat> now, here I put a mass, this mass is M due to gravitational force, this applies force on this platform and that force is equal to F1 is equal to let us say M1, M1 into G, this is the force applied here. Okay. Now, this has got area A1. So, what is the pressure on the liquid? Pressure on liquid by this force M1G is equal to force 1 upon area 1. This is the pressure on this liquid P. According to Pascal's law, here it is involved. The pressure at this point, pressure at this point, pressure at this point, at this point, at this point and at this point. All this liquid is continuous. So, the same is the pressure by this molecule on this molecule, on this molecule, on this molecule, on this molecule, on this and on this. That means between every two molecules, the force is same because it is in continuation. So, and what is the direction of pressure? It is always perpendicular to the surface in contact. Now, this is pressing it downward. So, the pressure increase and that pressure press the surface everywhere. Here, this pressure press this surface upward. Here, this surface upward. Here, the pipe 
upward everywhere the pressure acts on the surface in the outward direction here here and according to pascal's law pressure is same that means if it is p here it is p here it is p here everywhere it is p okay but here it is acting in this direction in this direction in this direction in this direction all the directions it is working this is a block cylinder cylinder cannot move so strong but this is a piston piston can move inside a cylinder you have seen an injection the one which is moving is piston the one which is fixed is cylinder so this is cylinder and these are two are pistons which can move so the pressure cannot move this wall this wall and this wall but this pressure if sufficient can move this wall now what is the what is the phenomena what is the quantity which is applied on the piston is it uh, yeah it is force which will push it up who pushes up the total force how much is the total force here so this force is f2 and its calculation is p into area a2 this is the force here and it acts upward upward now i put a car here this is very heavy its mass is m2 okay so this is being lifted by this force how much is this force compared to this force f1 is equal to p into a1 f1 is equal to p into a1 and f2 is equal to this so f2 upon f1 is equal to this divided by this p a2 upon p a1 p pressure is same everywhere so we should cancel it a2 upon a1 so force 2 is larger than force 1 if a2 is larger than a1 and this construction is made by us purposely we make it very large large area suppose this has got it this has the radius 1 and this has radius 10 we can make two cylinders radius 1 radius 10 then area is pi r square pi r square if the radius is 10 times area will be square of the 10 100 times if this area is 100 times then this area then this force is 100 times of this force here we have applied how much 1 10 kg this will be 100 times than that that is how much yes 100 times of 10 kg is 1000 kg so there will be a force equal to 1000 kg upward and if this car is 1000 kg it will be lifted up this 10 kg will balance this 1000 kg 100 times and after that if you press it a little this force will be additional 10 times 100 times and it will get lifted up so with a very small force here we can create a very large force here and what is the principle that p is same everywhere we are changing the area this is how we increase the force this machine what is it is doing this is hydraulic machine what it is doing it is lifting so we call it hydraulic lift some other times in the industry we need to compress the things press the things one in the other like this and i want to compress it one metal other metal in this very tight where welding is not possible we do that butt welding compression and there i need it to compress it with very large force like 1 ton 2 ton 5 ton how can we do that we just put it upside down now 
this portion is made upside down here. If we put 10 kg here, how much will be the force here? Equal to 1000 kg, 1 ton. And if we put 100 kg here, this will be equal to 10 tons. So that will be known as hydraulic press. So we have here a range of machines known as hydraulic lift, hydraulic press, hydraulic brakes. We apply the brake at a smaller diameter and inside the wheel where brakes shoes are there, this diameter for the piston is kept very large. So the force also increase on the wheels and is able to stop the car. That is hydraulic brakes. So these are the applications and all these hydraulic machines are based on principle of Pascal's law. Okay. Now, this we have seen certain applications of pressure and this was all about the liquid which is almost stable, there is not much motion. Now we will study about the fluid which is continuously flowing. Water in the river is flowing, air in the atmosphere is flowing. <clears throat> what are the rules for that? And what are the wonderful behavior they show that we will study in the next lecture. Thank you.